Traumatic brain injury, or TBI, is the disruption of normal brain activity as a result of a bump, jolt, or blow to the brain. Not all head impacts or uh, blasts will cause a traumatic brain injury. So it's essential that if you've been exposed to then be evaluated. The other thing to note is there's a uh, severity continuum for traumatic brain injuries. On one end of the spectrum are concussions, which are also known as mild traumatic brain injuries. And then on the other spectrum, severe or, and also penetrating traumatic brain injuries. TBI can cause a wide variety of symptoms. They can include loss of consciousness, headache, nausea and vomiting, sometimes changes to vision, dizziness, loss of balance, and a variety of other behavioral health uh, symptoms as well. It's hard to know exactly, but we think that TBI is relatively common among veterans. Between 2000 and 2019 at the Defense and Veterans Brain Injury Center, there are some slightly over 400,000 TBIs have been reported. People often ask me, well, what are the common causes for a veteran or a service member to have a traumatic brain injury? And I think to note is that there are several reasons some of those reasons are the exact same reasons or causes that a civilian might have, which include falls, motor vehicle accidents. But there are those that are more specific to the military, which include things like blast injury. An important aspect to remember about blast injury is that the blast wave itself can cause a, uh, a problem. However, those who have had blasts are also subject to impacts from either falling, having an object being thrown at them. Uh, additionally, there are uh, environmental and occupational factors uh, such as the use of certain uh, weapon systems. 